you guys welcome back to the channel you know what this is um i don't think so uh <laughs> it's a 2011 ram 1500 and this one is a 4.7 liter the only thing i just like is uh, the painted the uh, headlights and the taillights They went ahead and also painted the tail lights. We have a bed liner in here. And today, what we're going to be doing is uh, changing the tail lights out. As you can see, it's just two uh, strong screws there. I think they're T24. take the tail lights out and that should be it so stay tuned we'll be right back at you and I uh, just confirm they are t25s all right so that's it for the tail lamp and uh, what we're gonna do uh, I ordered a pair of uh, smoked version but since we're going to do inspection um, I got a pair of the OEM version as well and as you can see this one had a crack right there so these are the smoke version that we're going to go ahead and uh, replace once we get through that inspection alright and uh, These are the OEM pair that uh, we're going to install for the inspection purposes, alright? And uh, guys, these were ordered straight from Amazon, just look up the uh, year model of the vehicle. This one is a 4th Gen Ram, so uh, that's what we're going to be using. And just like that guys, you can see it already shaking. Just gonna go ahead, get this out, and uh, replace it with the new ones. All right. And uh, I decided not to go with the LED um, version. Maybe at some point later, that might be an option. But the world is your oyster, as far as it's concerned. There's a lot of options out there. You are mine. You are mine. And once you've. Uh, Taking the two screws out, you just uh, pull this out carefully, and uh, these are the connectors here to your bulbs. Uh, our replacement comes with the bulbs already installed, so uh, we're good to go on that part. And to finally get this out, you just squeeze this tab right here. Sorry, prior to squeezing that tab, you gotta push this red lever down and uh, let's see if we can do it on camera. So guys, I didn't realize this already had um, the LEDs and uh, the new unit comes with uh, the regular incandescent bulbs. So, uh, I think I want to keep the uh, LEDs, so stand by. This washing looks like kind of windy. Yeah, so on second thought, I'm gonna save this because they blink in a uh, they blink in a unique fashion, and I'm not sure if that will pass inspection. So we'll save the uh, LEDs for 
after the inspection process. So we're just going to go with the regular incandescent for right now. Uh, put them in. Just make sure that we have some functionality and uh, you know move on to the next. So stand by. And when you're putting it back in, just make sure these sliders slide over. sides and uh, simple already looking nice and guys I'm doing this one-handed so bear with me there you hear that snap that's what you want to hear pan out a little bit looking smarter already and uh, don't forget to put the screws back in one two and you're done I know you guys saw that drill there, but guys, I do not like to use drills on these uh, sensitive plastic pieces here because uh, you can really do some reversible damage. Emotional damage! So, I recommend using hand tools for this so you have more control. Alright? Now we enter the second side, took those out. And remember, it's the opposite direction to get those out, alright? And uh, this is the one that's actually damaged. And uh, we're just going to get in here. We need two hands. guys get in here hear that click some point right there so you just maybe got to get a knee on it to get it straight all right so all I did was clean the lights off that one came out pretty nice but this one is still hazy like I said I have the replacement for it and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll put that in once I make it through inspection. Let's snap a shot of the front right here. Nice looking truck. The uh, backlights, these were just uh, replacements that I got off uh, Amazon and uh, like I said once I go through inspection I'm gonna go ahead and uh, replace those to the smoked out look. <laughs> 